Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, book of 2 Samuel, chapter 2. Let's get started now. The book of 2 Samuel is a pivotal book in the Bible, chronicling the reign of King David and the events surrounding his ascension to the throne of Israel. Chapter 2 of this book tells the story of David's rise to power and the conflict that arises between him and Saul's son, Ishbosheth. The chapter begins with David seeking guidance from the Lord as to where he should go next. The Lord instructs him to go to Hebron, where he is anointed as king over the tribe of Judah. Meanwhile, Saul's son Ishbosheth is made king over the rest of Israel by Abner, Saul's military commander. The stage is set for a power struggle between David and Ishbosheth. Abner, seeking to solidify his position as commander of Saul's army, leads a campaign against David and his forces. In the ensuing battle, Abner's forces are defeated and Abner himself is killed by Joab, David's commander. David is distressed by Abner's death and disavows any involvement in it, making it clear that he is not seeking revenge against Saul's family. Ishbosheth, however, sees the opportunity to strengthen his own position and accuses David of being a murderer. He also begins to lose the support of his own people, as they begin to see David as the rightful king. As the chapter concludes, David's power continues to grow, while Ishbosheth's diminishes. This sets the stage for further conflict and intrigue in the chapters to come. The story of chapter 2 provides several valuable lessons that can be applied to our daily lives. First and foremost, it teaches us the importance of seeking guidance from the Lord. David could have easily made his own decisions and tried to seize power through force, but instead he sought the Lord's guidance and was rewarded with success. Another lesson we can learn from chapter 2 is the importance of being patient and trusting in God's plan. David had been anointed as king by Samuel many years before, but he did not rush to claim the throne. Instead, he waited for the Lord to guide him, and in doing so, he was able to claim the throne without shedding blood unnecessarily. The chapter also teaches us about the dangers of ambition and pride. Abner was driven by his ambition to solidify his position as commander of Saul's army, and this led to his downfall. Similarly, Ishbosheth's pride and desire to maintain his position as king led him to accuse David of being a murderer, despite having no evidence to support his claim. Finally, chapter 2 teaches us about the importance of forgiveness and reconciliation. Despite the conflict and violence that occurs between David and Ishbosheth, David makes it clear that he is not seeking revenge against Saul's family. He recognizes that they are fellow Israelites and that they should work together for the good of the nation. In conclusion, chapter 2 of the book of 2 Samuel is a powerful story that provides many valuable lessons for us today. It teaches us about the importance of seeking guidance from the Lord, being patient and trusting in His plan, and avoiding the dangers of ambition and pride. It also reminds us of the importance of forgiveness and reconciliation, even in the face of conflict and violence. These lessons can help us to live more fulfilling and meaningful lives, and they remind us of the importance of faith, love, and forgiveness in our daily lives. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.